In Canyonlands National Park exists the finest example of Native American rock art in North America. In this video, I'm going to take you on an eight mile round trip journey to the Holy Ghost pictograph at the Great Gallery and tell you about the controversy regarding its age. I did this hike on a cold December morning to photograph and document the site for my book, Enigmatic North America, Legends, Oddities, and Controversial History, which can be found linked in the description and the comments. I hope you stick around and enjoy the hike. It's one of the most spectacular desert treks I've ever done. What's up everybody? I'm in Horseshoe Canyon in the middle of December, about to go visit the Holy Ghost at the Great Gallery. Perhaps the finest example of Native American rock art in all of the Americas. It's going to be quite the journey. This is a very remote canyon in the Canyonland National Park. A little bit of snow on the ground. It's very cold this morning. Currently 13 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm expecting that we see some really cool things. And I know there's going to be some challenging parts to the hike as well. But that's all right. That's what it's all about. It is completely silent out here. There is no noise at all. My footsteps and the occasional uh, commercial jet that will fly high up in the sky you can hear but other than that there's no wind it's perfectly still it's one of the best parts about hiking in the winter time Noticed this earlier. Somebody's been out here walking barefoot. Maybe these are these uh, barefoot shoes that I'm seeing here. I mean, it was 13 degrees this morning. It'd be very odd. All right, we are in Horseshoe Canyon now. Uh, the hike down was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It does a really good job of switch backing back and forth. So you are dropping pretty fast, but it was pretty smooth for the, for the most part. Obviously be careful coming down here, um, regardless, but it wasn't too bad. Here we are. We're in Horseshoe Canyon. We still have several miles to go before we get to our destination. The trail is really well marked with Karen so far. You're definitely going to want to pay attention to these because this trail has several um, rock art panels, not just the end destination that we're trying to get to, the great gallery with the Holy Ghost. Before you get there, there's actually several along the way, and I've read that they're easy to miss. So make sure you're really keeping an eye out for those Karens if you do come out here. Wow, it is beautiful. So happy to be in Horseshoe Canyon today. It's two days before my birthday. I'm turning 33 in two days. I can't believe it. Still feel like I'm 23. Uh, and the knees are getting a little rough these days, but that's all right. This is about as good as it gets for a birthday hike for me. Excited to be here. Let's go see what we can find. So this isn't one of the main panels, but I just was curious if there was anything else out here. Started looking. Here's some old carvings. The first one I've first ones I've seen down here so far.
Awesome. This is from those wild donkeys or wild burros. I hope we see one. I really do. I was wondering if I'd find something like this up here. A lot of times underneath these little alcoves, You'll find food processing. This is where they would have grinded their corn and everything into flour. Here's where they probably sharpened some of their tools. You got some wild donkeys somewhere around here. This is pretty fresh. I really hope we see a wild burrow. I really do. I don't know if the canyon is the place for them for the winter or not, but Guess we'll find out. What was that noise?
right as it was coming up to these. I'm sure you all heard the noise. I hope the audio caught it. There was some loud crackling noise from above, like something was about to fall off this cliff face. So I'm gonna get out of here. How did my camera get here? So if you're coming out here, I just be careful on the side. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of rock falls somewhere. Heard one on this side, heard one on this side. I think I captured both of them on camera. I didn't actually get the fall or see any rocks falling, but I heard something crackling and tumbling. Be careful out here. It's kind of spooky. I kept looking for the wild burrows. Maybe they were causing some ruckus, but I didn't see any. Got off trail for a second. Found these caves. I'm not brave enough to go see what's inside. We're really close. It's been a wonderful hike, a little chilly this morning, but that's okay. I've had a blast out here in this canyon. Just around this corner up here is the final destination. Saved the best gallery for last, possibly the best pictograph panel in the world. The Great Gallery and the Holy Ghost. Let's go check it out. When you get to the Great Gallery, there's an old metal box and some binoculars, a guest book, and information to read. The information was an article titled The Barrier Canyon Rock Art Style, The PCS Project. It was originally believed to have a long history dating back to the early Archaic period between 6,925 BC and 4,725 BC. Some estimates even place the origins of this style as far back as 7,400 BC. This is based on the discovery of small clay figurines found in old layers of sediment in Cowboy and Walter's Cave, which were found to be similar in style to the Barrier Canyon paintings. Additionally, there are instances of Fremont and Anasazi images being drawn on top of Barrier Canyon style images, but no example of the reverse. This suggests that the Barrier Canyon style predates both Fremont and Pueblo styles, which have been dated to around 100 to 400 AD in 750 AD. A recent discovery about the geology of the canyon has brought these dates into question. Optically stimulated luminescence dating is a new technique used for determining the last time mineral deposits were exposed to sunlight and for how long they were exposed. This new method allowed for the analysis of sediment layers in the canyon, providing insights into the surface on which ancient artists may have stood and the fragments of their art that fell off the canyon walls since they were created. A team of researchers led by archaeologist Joel Peterson of Utah State University used these methods to help come up with an age range for the Great Gallery that was between 900 and 2,000 years old. Have binoculars in here if you want to have a closer look. Ah, the last time someone was out here was November 26. Today is December 16th.
pretty awesome. If you'd like to support my work, please check out my book that I've written. The site you view today has its own chapter dedicated to it. I put a lot of work into it. It's my first book I've ever written. It'd be a great way to support the channel and I'd love your feedback. Whew, out of breath. I think I'll end up over 10 miles today. Um, just because I was kind of all over the canyon looking for other petroglyphs. Normally, if you just go straight there, I think you're looking at seven and a half miles. Hey, here's our barefoot friend. So strange. What, the, what is going on here? All right. It's the middle of December, and I'm following these barefoot footprints right now. So strange. That's going to be a wrap, everybody. Until next time. Peace.